What's up, baseball fans? This is Luis Martinez from the MLB The Show dev team, and I'm here to talk about some of the new features we've added to your beloved franchise mode. But before doing that, I want to go over an area of our game that's received a much needed overhaul, stat tracking. MLB The Show is, after all, a baseball game, and baseball is all about stats. We now track pretty much every basic stat throughout a player's career as you advance in franchise mode, and we've also included every real life season up to 2015. This means that you can look up David Ortiz's 1998 rookie season and see that he hit 277 with 9 home runs for the Twins. We didn't stop there though. In addition to all the basic stats, we track some of the most recognizable advanced stats, such as wins above replacement and fielding independent pitching. One last tidbit, you can now sort league-wide season and career totals in the statistics screen and filter by position. Now let's look at some of the new features I mentioned, starting with player morale. As the general manager of a major league baseball team, you'll have to consider player morale and personality when building your team, since this will have an impact on a player's performance on the field. Player morale is based on seven factors that combine to produce a positive or negative effect on a player's attributes. For example, a player can be happy with his coaching staff and health, but if he's angry about his individual performance, he might end up with a negative effect overall. You'll have to consider some of these factors when signing free agents in the offseason too, since contract interest works in a similar manner to player morale. In addition to contract terms, players will have expectations and preferences like wanting to play close to home. Yes, we added birthplace for every player in the game. Let's take a look at the new contract negotiation screen. In the middle, you'll see a circular interest bar that updates in real time as you change your contract terms. Notice that you can now offer a role to the player, which will have a significant impact. I also want to mention that we've eliminated almost all of the randomness associated with free agent decisions. So if your team's offer is the one with the highest interest, you're more than likely going to land that coveted off-season prize. And speaking of coveted free agents, we've added a new notification system that informs you of all the big signings and blockbuster trades, complete with a player wearing his brand new uniform. You're going to need solid finances to sign some of these players and build a winning team, but we've got you covered with the all-new budget screen. Now you can get a clear picture of where your money is coming from and where it's going. There are nine different sources of revenue and expenditures, some of which are familiar to veterans, but two of which are completely new to the show 16. Revenue sharing and the competitive balance tax. Both are based on real life systems used in the majors. We also added a section on the budget screen where you can view your future contract obligations and with it, each player's service time status. You'll want to keep an eye on your commitments for the year when your star player hits free agency and is due for a big raise. In addition to everything I've mentioned already, we've made a ton of other improvements to the mode, such as new GM goals, an authentic 2080 scale for scouting, and more. All of which we'll cover on the next Twitch stream on Thursday, March 3rd at 2 p.m. Pacific. That's it for now, but we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. PlayStation.